Wanna make a card, Ken? George, stop acting like a baby. Ken, I wanna make a crib card. Oh. Hi, and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm George. And I'm Ken. And on today's episode, we show you how to make a crib card. So George made the file. It's an SVG file that's going to be available for our Patreon supporters. And it's a box card. So you can fold it flat. And you can customize it. You can customize it in color and put any em embellishments that you want on it and even on the sides and then Melody Lane also made one actually a bunch of other crafters made them and we have pictures at the end and she said George this bottom doesn't fit it's too narrow and I said to her Melody what are you talking about she's like isn't this a box and I said no but we could make it into a treat box it's a great idea so I made a bottom for it, and she put it together. So, in the file, you can make a box card or a favor box. That would be great for shower favors or shower favors. Or birth announcements. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Or gender announcements. Yeah, that would be cool, too. So, it's good for a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> it's also good to make cards with. First, I show you what to do with the SVG when you get it into design space. You have to attach the score lines and attach the cut lines, depending upon which box you want to make. And do a little sizing. Yeah, that's true. And then I show you how to put together the basic card. And then George's embellished card. Ken was not very happy. I asked him to put it together, and he said, sure, I'll do that. He forgot to ask me how many small parts there were. It was a cup of stuff that I just poured on the table. And he was like, all of this goes with the card? And I said, I said yeah. <laughs> so let's jump over to Design Space. So I've imported the SVG into Design Space. And the first thing we want to do is resize it. The width should be 12.763. And then the height should be 8.252, which it automatically does. So let's zoom in now so we can see most of the card. Right now it's grouped, so you're going to have to ungroup it. And once it's ungrouped, you're going to have to change these black lines to score lines. So you come over here to Layers and find all the lines that are black and click on them and change them to score. The red ones we want to keep as cut lines. So I just go through the whole document and change all the black lines to score lines. And as you can see when you change them to score lines they turn from black to silver or gray. So there, we're all done changing the lines. Now you have to attach the lines. If you're going to make a box card, the piece that the arrow is on right now, you'll have to duplicate and cut two of them. Those go in the inside of the box card. If you're going to make a treat box, you can delete this piece. If you're making a box card, the piece that my arrow is on right now can be deleted along with its score lines. But if you're making a treat box, you're going to want to keep this because it's the bottom of the box. For our demonstration today, we're going to make a box card. So I can select this and delete it. I'm going to select this. Oops. And say attach. 
And I'm going to select it again and say duplicate because I need two of them for a box card. And then I'm going to select the back and sides along with their score lines and say attach. Oops, you know what I forgot? Let's undo that because on the back, there's a card that you can cut out of white paper or whatever paper you want to go on the back for a salutation. So let's move that out of the way for right now. And select it again. Now say attach. So now the score lines are attached. Move this to the front. But this piece isn't attached to it. And then you're going to attach the score lines to this. There you go. That's all that there is to it. Now you can go ahead and cut it out. I'm going to cut out two of these. One of them so Ken can show you what the base card looks like put together. And the other one so we can embellish it. Oh, and before I forget, the inspiration behind this card, Crafting with Meek. She's pregnant and going to have a baby. And I was talking to her one day, we got to talking about babies and pregnancy and stuff, and I thought, wow, I wish I had a crib card I could send her. So, thanks Shamika for giving me the inspiration to make this SVG for all of our Patreons. First I'm going to show you how to put together the basic crib shape. So here are the basic shapes, the main body, the front piece, and the two struts in the center. And I'm going to be using Tombow mono liquid glue. So first I'm going to use the scores. Probably can't see it in the video, but the score line's here. So I'm folding that over. And then just preparing the other pieces. So again, the score lines right there. So together, it's kind of going to go together like that. So you're adhering the strut cards to the beam on the crib to the center to beams. Just give it a little wiggle so the glue spreads a little, and then just to help it press together. So there it is on the two struts. And then the front of the crib is going to go inside. I'm just going to lay down a little glue here. And make sure that you're <laughs> matching the feet to the feet. So 
So there you go. And when it's ready for mailing, you can slide it all flat. So here's the parts for an embellished crib box card. Uh, George chose all of these elements and I took an hour off screen to put them together with all their tiny little parts. <laughs> so you wouldn't have to watch me put all the little pieces together. So now I'm just going to put the card together and add the embellishments. And this time I'm giving them a bit more of a fold to each side. So when I do want to fold up the box card, it's not as stiff as it is when I only folded it the one way with our sample. So with the base done, I can start adding in some of the embellishments. There you go. Everything's in the crib. Oops, this slid. <laughs> Oops. Well, that slid a little. <laughs> but we could just put another toy or something there to cover that up. It was really easy, Ken. I don't know what you complained about all the small pieces for. The card itself was really easy. The embellishments were kind of rough. So there's a couple other friends of ours who did cards for us because we wanted to see what other people would make so we could show how versatile the card is. So people like Melody Lane and Ian the Off-Kilter Crafter uh, Crafting with Meek and May May did a card, 
and Rose Andrews. Rose, Nanny Rose did it. She was actually the first one to take our SVG file and test it out for us. So we want to give a shout out to Nanny Rose and say thank you for being our guinea pig. So here's some photos of the cards for you to check out what they created. And we'll have those on our website. Plus, some of the crafters did their own videos. So in the description on the video down below, you can get links to check out their channels and watch their videos. And remember, it's your craft. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Do whatever feels right for you. So this file is something we give to our Patreon supporters. There's a site called Patreon.com, and if you go to Patreon.com slash CraftsByTwo, that's where you can choose to support us. For as little as a dollar a month, you get access to a growing library of files and projects. A lot of the times, our projects and files are available to the public, and then there's like an extra special thing that we do for our Patreon supporters for almost every project. Kind of like a little thank you from us to them. So if you want to choose to support us, go over to our site on Patreon.com and make a pledge. And then you can get the SVG file for this kick butt crib card. If you found this video funny, informative, or just plain old great, give us a thumbs up on Facebook so they'll share our video with other people who might like it. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below on YouTube or on our website. We love to hear from you, and we're glad to help out where we can. Do you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, all the book, on the internet? If you don't, you should. All of those links are down below, too. So, until next Tuesday, or probably sooner, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Now let's get to the bloopers. What bloopers? What bloopers? Don't cross <laughs> the stream. Don't cross the streams. No, don't cross this line. <laughs> the line between the two. Why not? This is my side. That's your side. Isn't he selfish? Where you have Stewie trapped in jail with too much makeup on. Right. Melody always wanted to be a pageant mom. Uh, you crossed. It's design space. <laughs>